So here we have three objects which I want to apply the effect to them. I will go to the helper and create a dummy. And then go to the motion panel and first add a position list and then add a noise position. Okay. Let's hit the play button and first let's decrease the frequency and disable the fractal noise. For the floating effect, I usually disable the X and Y movement so my object is only going up and down. In order to see it better, I will expand the timeline. To do that, hold Ctrl, Alt and right click to expand it in this direction and then hold click to expand it in the other way. And you can click the middlemost button while holding the Ctrl and Alt to fine tune the position of your timeline. All right. Let's decrease it a little more. And there we have it. Maybe change it 50 to 30. Fair enough. Okay, now I will link the object to the dummy. And you can see the effect is applied to the object. I will create two copies. And link the objects. And you can see the objects are moving at the same time. In order to add variation to the noise, I will click on noise position and change the seed. There we go. And there we have it. Thank you for watching and if you want to see more videos about 3ds Max and rendering, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and I will see you in the next one.